and welcome to the smart science video about how to measure for the volume graphs lab. Notice at the top of the explore page a brief description of the lab and then a guideline on how to measure. So what you'll notice in the picture here is the red arrow is pointing to what's called the meniscus of the water. That's going to be the lowest level of the top of the water in the cylinder. So where you see the water and you see that the top level there of where it displays in the cylinder, where that bows down a little in the middle, that's going to be called the meniscus. So what you're going to do is consider this question, how does width of a cylinder change how fast it fills with water? Once you've either written or picked a hypothesis you'd like to test, now come down to the bottom, pick one of the four cylinders in terms of the size of the cylinder that you'd like to try, press the play button to watch that cylinder being filled up with water, each cylinder has a different color and therefore a different color of water that's filling it up to make it easier to remember which is which. This first one, the 10 milliliter cylinder, is filling up with green water. And then we can go ahead and click to make measurements right where I mentioned on that meniscus of the water. Do your best job. These clicks aren't going to be perfect because it is real data and we're measuring it from the smart sign system where we have to click to make those measurements. Now, if you don't like the measurements you've made, you can press the reset button and start again. But if you do like the measurements you've made after about, oh, seven or eight clicks, you're gonna get a chance to save that data. Once it's saved, you can see those different graphs up there that you finished in the bar right above the graph area, as well as an all button, which compares all the graphs. So this has been a video about how to measure in the volume graphs smart science lab.